Welcome to another video tutorial from helpvid.net and the last part in our three part series of tutorials on firstly how to download the new version of iTunes then the second tutorial will cover how to transport our music from our PC or external hard drive into iTunes and then finally this tutorial we will cover the most commonly asked question how do we get our music from iTunes into our mobile device? That may be an iPhone, an iPad or an iPod. So in this tutorial we're going to cover how to put music from iTunes into the iPhone. It's the exact same process if you're using a iPad or iPod. Now, first thing I've pointed out in every tutorial, you may have skipped the other two or just stumbled across this one, it's very important that we are using the same version of iTunes. So as you can see here, I've got the iTunes uh, shortcut here on my desktop and as you'll notice it's a little typical blue icon but with the grey music bar inside. If your iTunes logo here has the black music bar it means you're using the older version and you must go and upgrade to this newer version the link is in the description below on where and how to download so I'm just going to double click on iTunes and open now the reason for this um, is because I use um, a lot of Adobe softwares so to create websites and so forth and when Adobe update to newer versions they do a very good job of making those changes very subtle so someone who is let's say watching a tutorial of mine when I'm using Adobe CS5 and they're using CS2 or 3 they could still follow along because the changes all the menus all the layout is pretty much the same with iTunes it's totally different it's just totally changed, different menus, different buttons and different features um, so it's important to follow along that you're using the same uh, version that I am here so here we are, we have iTunes open so the first thing we're going to do as you can see up here on the top right we have the iTunes store where we can go to purchase music but what we're looking to do for this particular tutorial is to transfer the music that we have transferred in here in the previous tutorial and we're looking to transfer this onto our device. So I've got the USB plugged into a USB port, uh, just a typical charger. And I'm going to put the other end into the phone. You hear a little sound and then it should just pop up here on the top right hand side. You'll get some options. I'm just going to close this. You should maybe get an iCloud option as well, asking if you want to store any of your music on the iCloud. I think you get 5 gigabytes free of charge. So there we go, our iPhone is now connected. So if we click on this, you see options in here. You can click to your, you can update your latest iOS, you can create backups and do automatic syncing and so forth. I don't want to do any of that, so I'm just going to unplug my device again. It will bring me automatically back to the main menu and plug in again. So I'm just going to wait for that little icon to appear again. And we can see the iPhone's in and we can tell it's connected because it's a little phone. When it's loading up you'll see the little loading bar. So just wait till your little picture of the phone appears and that's you connected and good to go. So let's talk about some of these features here. We have genres, obviously songs and albums. Now I very rarely use the albums. Reason being I tend to select, let's say, two or three songs from a particular album that I like. I'm really fussy because you don't have that much storage, especially on your iPhone, it's in your pocket all the time. You don't want to waste valuable space. So I'll take off the songs that I like off a particular album. So if I, let's say, come to the Motown Years album here, and I want to listen to that on the move, it's only going to give me three songs because I only downloaded three songs. So what I do is I come into the songs, select the songs I want and I put them into a playlist and create playlists. So uh, here's the playlists here. 
we've not got any saved yet, but we will create one. Uh, now let me tell you a downfall, something I was expecting to see in this latest version of iTunes and it is not there. There's been some good features, uh, some good additions, but the one that I really feel should have been installed by the developers is, as you can see, I've got three songs here, all the same. Jackson 5, ABC. Never gonna say goodbye, I'll be there, I want you back. Now, all these songs run three times for one reason. I transferred this album into iTunes three times and it accepted it every time. I've transferred it into my phone three times and the phone accepted it every time. This is a problem because really you want to, there's a big emphasis on space. You've not got that mega storage on your device. So it would be nice if you had a little warning telling you, hold on a minute, you've already got this song. Um, it's maybe a easier to you know recognise that you've already got a particular album, but there's a lot of albums out there that are mixed albums, and you may have an album of just let's pull out a name of Michael Jackson, and then one of his songs on that album might also appear on a mixed album, so it's really much harder to detect. So it would be good if iTunes would incorporate a feature into the iTunes that would basically tell you that you already had this album um, in there. So let's transfer some songs. This is the bit that people just do not get. They have a look about iTunes, they look at all the options here and they do not see anything that looks like export export these songs into my iPhone. They go into the iPhone option and it's just basic sync options in there. So the way we get songs is we select whatever songs we want. We can just scroll through by hitting and holding down the control key or command if you're on a Mac. You just br navigate through all of your songs, selecting the ones you want. Then let go of the command control key, click down on any one of the highlighted songs and as you can see still nothing happens but if you drag across you will see this panel here opening up on the right hand side. Now I can either drop these, fo these songs directly into my iPhone, if I was to do that they would put each one of these in albums. So the Jackson 5 one would go into a Jackson 5 album, Lionel Richie would go into the Gold album, as would these two, and the Marvin Gaye song would go into a different Motown album. So these songs couldn't be listened to one after the other, because they're all in separate albums, indicated here by the album name. So what we would do if we wanted these songs to go in its own folder, is drag across and drop in playlist, give that playlist a new name, and it will then appear in this playlist here. So it's very, very hard to understand because you open up iTunes, you navigate about, and you don't see anything that's telling you to export the songs. It's this drag feature that you wouldn't see unless you knew. So click down on all the songs you want, hold Command or Control, select the songs you want, click on any one of them, any one of the highlighted ones, drag across and you automatically see this box appearing here and if you just let go on top of your phone it will automatically sync them into your actual device. So guys that's it, I hope this tutorial has helped, um, I hope that in the next version of iTunes they make a few changes. Again I hope they keep this panel because people are going to get used to it, I hope they don't do something totally ridiculous and totally different that we need to go away and learn a whole new piece of software again because it really does put you off iTunes, especially the old way we used to plug an mp3 player into the computer, just drop files into it and that was it, nothing else. There was no need to go through any third party software. Your computer would recognise the mp3 player and the mp3 player would recognise the raw files that you dropped into it. Um, one good thing however that iTunes have done is I recognised when I was importing music from my desktop if they weren't the correct format 
iTunes would 